Hey guys, okay, so I am finally painting these. I have no idea if it's going to work. I have no idea actually how to do this. They don't show sanding it or roughening it up or anything, but I've got three different things. I've got this like matte thing. I've got a little gloss thing, and then I've got like this ceramic one over here. And then basically for what I have is I have like two colors of paint, like this tan paint and this white paint. And then obviously we need a baking soda. Um, all those that's what I kind of like saw on like the reviews and stuff like that is to use baking soda, not baking powder. I think it's like a rougher texture to give more of that real look. So I'm going to quickly struggle off camera for like 20 minutes to open this box. <laughs> I'll get taken to help me with it. Um, but yeah, we're just going to test it out on the three different things. And hopefully we can get some nice... Oh my word, this is... Anyways, I'll see you guys when we paint. So I've started mixing it here, and as far as I know, you kind of wanted like this thick, gloopy consistency. So I just kept kind of like adding it. I kept like some of it on this side um, just to like kind of add when I think it needs more. Um, paint smells very strong, so I'm glad I'm doing this outside. <laughs> um, so yeah, some parts are really thick. Other parts are still a bit runny, so I'm just trying to even it out a bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and gonna try this. I don't know. I don't know, I hope this works because it will be really cool if it does. Start at the bottom. This might need a few coats. See, that's why I like. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll maybe get a close up a little bit now. But it's kind of like gritty and sandy and like really thick and gloopy. But it gives a really nice. Maybe just one other way. Um, gives a really nice like sandy texture and really makes it look, I think, like a ceramic. And I like the more roughened look. Um, because I think it just adds to the, like, handmade authenticity type of look. I think if it's going to be too runny, you're not really going to notice anything. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and paint this for a first coat. I'm definitely seeing some purple through, so there's definitely going to have to be <laughs> a few coats. thick and this is the ratio was like a lot of baking powder to a little bit of paint basically but this is the texture that it ended up with some spots you can see definitely needs some more of the purple and some spots like over here it's a bit more smooth I am gonna go in and just try and cover as much as the purple as I can um, because I really want the second coat to be a bit more runny and to do like the bottom and the inside as you can see I did just through the brim but I'll probably go down a bit further but as you can see here this is the texture it's already like starting to dry and crumble I'm wondering if it was maybe a bit too thick but I really really love this rough texture and um, for these I think I'm gonna go a bit smoother and also in the white and that also might look nice and smooth with a little bit of texture I just thought this spot um, base really needed a good amount of texture and it kind of looks really really cool okay so that color was the Titans bath from the golden fluid acrylics it is a bit more of a runnier paint which I think I definitely recommend don't use a thick like acrylic 
anything like this. This one obviously still has some pot of baking soda left in here, but I'm gonna be doing a second coat. I'm gonna be gonna wash this paintbrush because I want to work on, I think, maybe this next. This is my favorite piece. I love little water jugs like this. Um, really, really nice, and I think a crisp white, which I think we got titanium white. Um, and I'm going to make this one a bit smoother, or at least in the first coat, and then see how I like it, and maybe we can roughen it up a little bit later. Um, the nice thing as well is people say you can always go in and sand it afterwards, so we're just going to push this off to the side, quickly go wash the paintbrush, and then move on to our next item. Okay, so as you guys saw, I put them very separate so that I can slowly add some of the um, baking soda like as I need it because I don't want I don't want it to be too thick. I really want the first coat to really be smooth and glossy. With a little bit of texture, we'll just add a little bit like that because with the like tightened buff or whatever the color was um i thought it was too runny so i added like a lot more and then it ended up like really thick so i'm trying to remember what the paint consistency was we'll start with this and see what it does this is a lot smoother applying it But do you think, I don't know, what's your opinion on the thinner version compared to the, um... I think they work, like they do work. It's... Because um, like that tends to way, dry quick. This is way more rustic. 100%. This is the, the first one. is way more rustic. Yeah. Whereas this one, it's that modern farmhouse feel. So you see as I'm painting it, like some pieces start lifting and yeah. I kind of like creates that texture, the which texture. is kind of no, cool. It'll, I think it will come out really nice. I like, I like what it's looking like currently. So it was really really smooth until you start going over patches and then it kind of creates this so it's like that's kind of what it looked like and then as soon as you start repainting over something it kind of creates that little bit of a because it's still kind of wet underneath and wet on top so it's making like this type of texture which I think is gonna look really really beautiful once it's done and inside you can see I just did a a quick rough coat the main part that people are gonna be seeing is this like ledge so we'll cover that properly but obviously if there's flowers and things in there and as you can see I didn't use as much of it and it was still a bit of a runnier kind of texture and the brush isn't as clumped up so I'm quickly going to do it on the gloss and see how that one turns out So we're still gonna keep it with the white. I think the white will look really beautiful with this with a nice, it has like a yellow tone candle. So I'm a bit worried that it won't look nice with the white, but 
otherwise I'll just get a really nice white candle or even a coloured candle for like seasonal things. So take a sip of coffee. Okay, and I'm going to mix a bit more paint and then this one I actually want really really smooth so I'm even going to try and not go over sections to really avoid like that peeling kind of look until like the very end so I'm really hoping I can keep it nice and smooth. So here they are after their first coat. This one was a bit more of a smoother one. As you can see, still patchy. Then we have this one over here. Obviously still patchy, bit of texture, bit thicker. And then our lump of clay <laughs> over here. It's actually pretty dry, even like the big clumps. I'm aware that some of it will probably come off. That's totally okay, adds to the charm. But yeah, so this obviously still needs the full on coat on the inside. But it's looking really, really good. Very vintage, very rustic, like a clay pot someone made by hand, which is pretty, pretty cool. I'm quickly gonna move out to the sun. A bit more of a true color of what it actually looks like right now. It is, as you can see, not covered completely. And that's why you can still see some purple coming through, some smooth spots, some rough spots. I think it is turning out really nice. Some of the white jug is still wet, that's why I'm holding on this angle. As you can see, this is a lot smoother. It's got a bit of a rough coat on the inside. Um, it's a lot smoother, but there is some texture on the side just from rubbing the brush back and forth when it was like a little bit tacky. Um... But this is more of its natural color. As you can see, the color of the red is still peeping through and it is not coated completely. This was the ceramic vase that was like solid red. As you can see, it's some areas are still very much red. And I will go through and paint the bottom as well. I just want to give it plenty of time to dry. And even though I painted it like just a few minutes ago, it is already matte and drying. Um, you can barely see the sun come through it, um, but it's obviously a lot smoother, a lot more glossy looking, but yet there is still some of that texture that we want that you get from like a nice like handmade item. So yeah, this is like definitely my favorite for this type of style thing. You think the smoother with slight texture definitely works a little bit better sorry for the blur and i feel like for bigger vases and like pots and things like that i feel like the homemade clay look tends to work really well so even though i like just painted this a second ago it is already like dry to the touch there's a few little spots not my hand my fingers a few little spots that are still wet um so i think i'm just gonna leave them to dry completely overnight if i started this early in the morning which i did not i think i started this at like 8 p.m um because i really wanted to get them done so i think if i started early in the day i would have gotten like three coats done maybe but i'm going to definitely leave them to dry overnight and i'll see you guys tomorrow for our second and third coat and yeah then we get to style them i'm so excited Hi guys and welcome to day two. Just keep walking into everything today. Um, dog stole my chair so I had to paint standing up. Don't know if you can see him. But there we go. Both of, well not both, all of the vases and now have their second coats and the jug even has a third coat on. I'm thinking the second coat is where it really comes to life. Um, the slides will be playing now. So yeah, the second coat is where it really comes together and really starts looking like pottery, which is really, really exciting. I'm gonna let it completely dry in my chair. It's been my assistant in painting these. They're coming together. I see you. What do you have to say for yourself? Hmm? Still my chair. Yeah. No? Nope. 